Hello Anime World Gaming, this is Motoko of Anime World Gaming here today to bring you what I've been anticipating to do for a long time, the HD remastered version of Resident Evil. John gave me this quite a while ago, quite a long time ago actually, and I did complete it. I'm in the process of uh, playing through uh, Chris's uh, gameplay, about halfway through that, and then I completed uh, the Jill. So I could do real survival, which I think is very hardcore, I could do once a game. Do real survival because I really want to challenge myself evil. to a uh, very big difficulty. Yes, Chris. And you can unlock skin when you complete it with him. Now, there's the original skin. There's a new skin of Jill from like Resident Evil 4, 5, 6. And there's the skin you unlock. We're going to go for the original one though. I'm going to skip through all of the intro stuff. If you want to see the intro um, cutscenes and that, then uh, just basically all you need to do is uh, search up on YouTube. You can find it in seconds. Just keep that. So basically, a team has been sent, I believe from Raccoon City, the stars, to investigate this house. And the stars have made contact with the people in the house. So another team has been sent in to <coughs> basically find out what's going on. And I am with that second response team. We have no idea what to expect. So we're going to go straight forward and see how it goes. I think you'd better take a look at this. There's Barry. What is it? Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. So we're now going to go up here into one of the many uh, crazy narrow hallways that I absolutely hate. Now, as usual, I put down the links below, our social networking links, that includes our Discord link to our voice and text chat server, and also our Facebook page, uh, and list profile which will be updated soon, our website, and all the other good stuff. Now, I will warn you now, because we're about to see the first of many stages, if you're squeamish, don't like to see blood, or weak in the knees, or very young, I would recommend you... Um, Come off this video and watch one of my other videos because this video has some uh, phobias in it that people have, including one of mine, and also uh, a lot of gory and scary stuff. So be prepared, you've been warned. It's going to start now. Here it is, the first zombie. <laughs> So that guy who just died by a zombie was one of the, uh, I think, the first response team. No, there's never any point in fighting him. Most hardest thing about those zombies are two things. It's firstly, they'll lunge. And if they grab you, you can't really escape unless you've got a knife or taser. I'll tell you second one in a moment after cutscene. Barry! What is it? Look out! It's a monster! Let me take care of it! Now we're to go into the main hall to meet up with Wesker. The second annoying part about the zombies are if you kill them, unless you on a rarity hit ratio take off their head when you kill them, they will after a while, after a certain amount of time, or after you've been back and forth between that same location a few times, will turn into what's called a crimson head, which you'll witness later on, which is very a nightmare to deal with. <clears throat> Probably the most worst thing to be honest, I think. I know this game takes a long time to complete. Wesker! So now we're trying to find an infamous Wesker. Jill, help me look for him. But let's not leave this hall. Good idea. So Wesker's basically like, I guess you could say, somewhat like the captain. I think he's the leader of stars. We'll find, we'll see some more Wesker later on. Obviously, I don't want to um, spoil anything yet. I want you all to witness it. Barry. Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. <clears throat> oh, 
I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. And you'd wonder why a guy would give me his lockpick. Thanks. I may need it. Listen. I will need it. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. Now, basically, Barry's gone back in there into the uh, living room. And I'm indicating I'm going through there, but I'm not going to go through there yet, ladies and gentlemen, because the most important thing is back here. Where. I always go through here first, because um, there's a reason why um, they try and get you to go in the other way first. But I'm not going to spoil that. You have to see for yourself. Now, because we're on the hardest difficulty, I think one of the worst things about this is there are several storage chests in this game around the mansion and the perimeter that you explore. Now, if you store items in the chest, in the safe chest, which usually has um, a typewriter next to it where you can save your progress, there's only you can only do a few saves per game. Um, the problem is, usually you can open up any of the chests even if you stored items somewhere else and basically you'll be able to uh, um, what do you call it um, pick items you stored no matter where you're on the map if you're in another chest in this hardcore difficulty mode which I think is real survival one of the hard things is along with um, a shortage of loot where I think the loot that you can find is cut by half or something the other hardest difficulty part <coughs> that's going to be Crimson Head, we'll have to kill him soon when we get the shotgun, um, is that any items you store in a specific chest, if you go to another chest, it won't be there. Now, this is why I'm using the controller with the analog sticks for the PlayStation 3, because people have argued, based on my review on Steam this game, that using keyboards is fine, but it really is not. Keyboard and mouse is just a nightmare. You need, ideally, a controller, and mostly, for stuff like that, so you can actually be quick. Now this is where I got really concentrated. This is where I really got concentrated. This is like one of the hardest bits for you to start. See that zombie? He's gonna lunge at me. I need to get out of the way quick. So let's get ready, quick. There you go. Missed him. Yes, that's so hard. That door's locked. We're gonna go through here. We've unlocked it. Now what we've got to do is we'll examine this uh, emerald that we found. Old man's emerald, or I think it's a poor man's emerald golden arrow we examine it so it can be removed yes we remove it so arrowhead the arrowhead is made from pyridite sometimes referred to as a poor man's emerald there you go it's nearly close uh it's usually a knife up here but i think or was it downstairs but it's not there anyway head back into the main hall we're gonna go halfway down the stairs because there's a back door we want to go to which is going to take us into i guess you could say kind of like one of the garden areas now we'll be coming through this way quite a few times later in uh, this let's play and I think based on the fact it takes a couple of hours to actually complete this I can tell you now I'm gonna have to do quite a few videos of this there's one zombie I wanna avoid him he's not a big problem if you watch out now that guy careful if I'm careful I if, uh, if you run, that uh, half-naked guy who was just to the left of the gate here, he'll notice uh, you're running by and it'll basically trigger him. If you're careful, you can get away with him never moving. You never need to worry about him. It's the other one, though, that will be a problem. So coming back up in a minute is going to be hard. I might just uh, save the trouble, kill them later. But if you look, 30 rounds is hardly anything. So there's four masks here that I need to get. I'm going to have fun with that. Okay. Books fitted perfectly in the indentication. Will you take the Book of Curses? Yes, please. I used to fail calling the Book of Dead. No. Sorry, I meant examine, not use. No. Noob. No! Stop being a noob. Right. No. Ah! Right. Examine. There's a key embedded on the back cover. Will you remove it? Oh, yes, I will. We need that. Open the Book of Curses. Book of Curses. The four masks. A mask that speaks no evil. A mask that smells no evil. A mask that sees no evil. 
A mask that cannot speak, smell, or see. When all four fall into place, evil will awaken. Very important uh, we get these masks. And if we look at this... See? It's a sword. So now it's renamed as a sword key. We need the sword key to open up the initial doors around the mansion. There's several different uh, mansions. Sorry, the different keys. Um, you got the. I think you got the helmet, the shield, the sword, and the chest plate keys. I think there's four keys. This is going to be the nightmare. So I need to wait for him. There he is. Yeah, Effa. Walk away. Nope. <coughs> Thankfully, I didn't trigger that other one. Just the one that's lying down there. So, um, heavily wounded. Ah, caution! One more hit and I'm dead. That's not good. Um, I don't want to, but we're going to have to... I'm just trying to think we have to heal up. Just trying to make... Screw it, we'll go back to where I'm thinking of. Okay, yeah, we'll head back. So all we'll do is... You could argue this is a waste, but... I want to have good health before we head back. And I think it's only going to boost my health to about average, so... I can't really afford even that ticket, but we're going to run back through here. There was a green leaf we saw before we went up the first initial stairs. I want to uh, go get that and just heal my health up a bit. But yeah, this um, Let's Play definitely is going to have to be quite a few episodes now. It's going to be at least six, six to eight videos or something, because there's so much you have to do in this game. And even if you uh, speed run this, it could take like, it could take ages. From an hour, two hours. Look, it's not there now. The zombie's gone. That's going to be a crimson head. I hate them. We take the green herb, yes. I think it only will heal half my health up, which is, sucks, but there you go, caution. So I'm going to find another one. Actually, if I get to a chest, they will have um, a spray. I'm going to check the body of, um, I think it was named Kenny, Kennedy or something. Let's have a look. Just here. Hey, Kenneth, I was close. It looks like he's holding something. It's a film that belonged to Kenneth. I need a video player to see what's recording of it. Get that then. I think I remember what that is. I think I know what that is, which um I'll check later on. Don't really like this game a lot, it just takes a long time to play it. And I usually have to make sure my family parents are out whilst playing it, otherwise they'll be distracting me non-stop. And I've been wanting to do a video of this, but I've been having trouble getting this working again. And uh, I'm the opportunity to have some alone time so I can actually work on this. So, yeah. As I said before in the other video, I hope you prefer my uh, new cam placement. It makes things a thousand times better. We're going to head back upstairs. Now we've got the sword key. We're going to unlock a door that's uh, locked. So, basically, you spend a lot of this game. We have to run back and forth between places like here over and over again. And there'll be some nasty surprises meeting you on the way. Some mini and big bosses you have to fight. Uh, which is typical in a Resident Evil game. This is the first one that started it all off. And for a Resident Evil game, it's genius work. I need to think. There's a dog. Okay, there's still a zombie on the corner there. We're going to have to come out of here in a few minutes. They're green herbs growing here, but it's only enough for a few uses, yes. <clears throat> I'm back up to find health now. This is the hard bit. What I need to do now is ensure I get past this zombie. Who's troublesome? There you go, I'm past him. Past number one. Number two is just there, you know what I mean? Run, 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 run. Hey, I missed him. You have no idea how hard it is to get past him. 
That's going to be Krypton. I want to quickly burn that body. He's in a bad position. Now I want to get the shotgun. But to do that, I've got to go somewhere, which I haven't gone to yet. So now we're here. Woo! Let's see. We have to come back in here later. Tight rise there. What's that key? What's that for? Wait, I've never seen a positive key before. I've got a feeling there's um Got a feeling. Oh, I gotta head upstairs, huh? I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just trying to get my head around because I can't remember what I'm doing now. Why did I come this way? I'm trying to think. Now. First stage, I'm missing him. I need to wait to know if a zombie's been killed is if you um, when you shoot them they're on the floor and they're bleeding. Now that guy, if I don't burn his body, come back as a crimson head, which is very bad. Now I failed there, look, I'm back on caution health. So this is going very well, ladies and gentlemen. I'm doing extremely bad in the moment. Um, I head downstairs to save in progress because we're almost coming at the end of this episode um, time. Um, I hope you enjoyed the first episode of uh, this let's play. We've not even barely started on what we have to do, and uh, indeed, um, yeah, I'm hoping you'll all uh, fully enjoy this series as it goes on in time. Ooh, I need a shave. Yes, I'll take the ink ribbon, please. Save our progress. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode, uh, first episode of uh, Resident Evil HD Remastered uh, Let's Play. I'll continue the second episode soon, fingers crossed. And of course, I hope you enjoyed it. And obviously, uh, keep an eye out for when the next episode comes. Be sure to check out the uh, social network links you have down below. Perhaps go on to um, our channel and uh, see what other videos we have for offer. Because as time goes on, we'll be adding a lot more. And on top of that, um, if you enjoyed the video or you have any recommendations, advice, whatever, or say what you enjoyed or what you'd like to see me do, then please leave a comment down below. And of course, as usual, everyone, please be sure to subscribe, follow Amy World Gaming, and of course, we'll see you again soon. Goodbye.